So today at the morning, this guy, he, anonymous, I don't know who is this guy, uh, sent me uh, this email. And Allah Yardale, he made me ask a lot of questions. I mean, do really the occupation who killed 17,000 children, who cut them into pieces, killed them in brutal ways in front of their parents, or maybe let them bleed on this rubble for hours before passing away, cares about saving the lives of children in Gaza? The same occupation, criminals, genocidal army, who are now uh, putting all these children in tents in horrific uh, conditions, um, health uh, conditions, uh, let them die, literally die because of starvation, die because of the uh, skin infections and because of the fever, because of everything. And then now they cares, they care about the the vaccine the polio virus vaccine why actually this email opened my eyes to other things like who were the first people to talk about the polio virus in gaza strip what the, the the palestinian minister of health said said last week about the polio virus in gaza strip Do the colonizers have this history in uh, exploiting the vaccines to do other things for the occupied people in the future? I don't trust anything. I don't trust people. I don't trust world. I don't trust future. I don't trust humanitarian institutions. I don't trust the occupation. I only trust the memory of my people and my memory and memorize exactly what the Israeli occupation have done to our children. The Israeli occupation intentionally killed a whole generation, a whole generation, 17,000 kids. Of course, other than the kids who were amputated, other than the kids who will never get back to schools after whatever uh, they are living now, after all of this, they killed a whole generation. How can I trust these people and trust their trials to allow the vaccines to enter Gaza Strip? And by the way, something very little about the vaccines is that there is no such thing as a truce or a humanitarian truce it's only in the hospitals the field hospitals or the medical clinics or points field points that will give the vaccine for the children so a kid or a parent okay can be killed while going to have the vaccine or getting back from having the vaccine to their tents or their displacement camps. So there's nothing called a humanitarian truce, okay? And this humanitarian truce do not guarantee going back to our homes in the north, in the east of Khan Yunus, or in Rafah, or any other areas, okay? So stop talking about a humanitarian truce. This is misleading for me, okay? This, this is... Uh, an intentional misleading that tells that Israel is this humanitarian angel party that is helping the occupied people to live better. Okay? They are killing us and they are occupying us and they're not helping us to live better. They are killing children. And like, like uh, an hour ago, I witnessed like three dead bodies, children dead bodies carried to the cemetery from Nasser Medical Complex to the cemetery in uh, the middle of Khan Yunus. So these occupiers, these colonizers, these killers do not care about us or about our children or about our future. Stop believing this. Yes. Shukran.